Welcome. All right, so what I have here is the vertex is 1, 8, and the directrix is y equals 3. And what we're asking us to do is to be able to write the standard form of the equation of this parabola. So to do that, what I'm first going to do is just rewrite in the information that I'm provided. So I have a vertex at 1, 8. So I'm going to go over 1, and then, so that's x, that's my y. So I'm going to go over 1, up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK, I'm going to write that in as my vertex. Now, the problem is I don't know if my vertex opens up, opens down, opens left, opens right. And it's very important if it's going to be a vertical axis symmetry, that's going to be one equation. Compared to if it opens left to right, then it has a horizontal axis symmetry, that's going to be another equation. So to decide what that work looks like, I need to be able to graph the directrix, which is y equals 3. So I go on the y. What am I doing? <laughs> So I go to y equals 3, so 1, 2, 3. And that's going to be my directrix, which is going to, I'm going to write as a dotted line. All right. Now, if you remember the parent graph of a parabola dealing with the focus and the directrix, let's just kind of look at, uh, you know, let's say here's a parabola. The focus is always inside the parenthesis, inside the parabola. And the directrix is the exact same distance. As this distance is p, this distance is negative p. So it's very important to see you know, how that directrix works. And it doesn't matter if it opens up, opens down, opens right to the left. That's what it looks like. That is going to be your focus. And that is our directrix. So from this case, we can see that if that's my vertex and my directrix is below it, I know my graph is going to look something like that. Meaning my focus is somewhere um, inside of my parabola. Now, to find that distance, remember the distance from the directrix to the vertex is the exact same distance from the vertex to the focus. However, they're in different directions. So to go to the focus is in one direction, in this case positive. To go to the directrix would be negative. So what I want to do to be able to find my focus, because if I'm going to be able to, um, if I'm going to be able to write my equation, I've got to know the value between the vertex and the focus, which is our value p. Remember, if that's p, this is negative p. So actually, what I can do is just say, well, the distance from the vertex to the directrix is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But it's going negative direction, so it's negative 5. But remember, it's negative p. So that equals negative, <coughs> negative I don't know what I'm doing. That's negative p, which is equal to, or p is equal to negative 5. So if I want to figure out what exactly is p, p is going to be positive 5, which would be if that's at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, um, 13. So that would be my focus, which is going to be a distance of positive 5 up. So p is equal to 5. Because remember, p represents the distance from the vertex to the focus. I had to go down, which is negative. For, to go to my directrix, so I need to go up to find my vertex, which would be a positive p. So now let's go and take this standard equation. So I have a vertical axis of symmetry. So therefore, my equation is going to take the form x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Now remember, the vertex takes the form of h comma k. And this messes up a lot of students as they want to plug in um, you know, positive 1 and positive 8. But it, the formula says x opposite of h. h is 1, k is 8. So therefore, I'm just going to write x minus 1. It's x minus h. h is 1. x minus h. x minus 1 squared equals 4p times y minus k, which is y minus 8. And then I actually I can simplify this. I can rewrite what p is. We figured out p was 5. Okay, so now to write the standard form of the equation, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this and then distribute this. So when I expand this, I have x minus 2x plus 1 equals 4 times 5 is 20, so that's going to be 20y, and that'd be negative 160. Now, to be able to solve for y, I've got to add 160 to both sides. So I'm sorry, that's x squared. So I have x squared minus 2x plus 161 equals 20y. Now, to solve for the y, the last step is I need to divide by 20. Okay, So y equals 
x squared minus 2x plus 161 divided by 20. Now, typically, we usually like to be able to reduce this. So I'm going to divide the 20 into all of these terms. So I have y equals 1 20th x squared minus 1 10th x plus 161 over 20. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you take a vertex and a directrix to write the standard form of your parabola. Thanks.